Hello students, welcome to the lecture for Unit 4, Computer Communication Technology. My name is Azlina and I am your instructor for this unit. These are the outlines for this unit. The first one is the definition of data communication. Then, we look at the components of data communication. The third one, what is a computer network? The type of connection, which are the point-to-point -point configuration and also the multi-point configuration. We are also going to look at the five types of network topology and its transmission mode. And lastly, the categories of network. After the lecture, the student should be able to introduce the basic concept of data communication, discuss the different type of network topology and its transmission mode, and last but not least, to differentiate the categories of network. Let us start with a brief introduction to data communication and networking. Data communication can be defined as the exchanging of digital data between two or more computers via computer network regardless of their distance. It can also refer to the transmission of digital data between two or more computers. Data communication and networking are changing the way one does business and the way one lives. The development of the personal computer brought about tremendous changes for our businesses, industry, science and education. Its similar revolution is requiring in data communication and networking. Technological advances are making it possible for communication link to carry more and faster signals. Before we begin on data communication between computers, let us first see what is a computer. A computer is a programmable machine that is used to perform various computation, or in a simple term, it is any device with the ability to process data. Your computer is also used to store data, so the computer contains data in it. So data is a collection of facts such as value or measurement and these data are represented in computers in binary information which is either one or zero this is what we call the digital data so when we want to share data between two or more computers called as data communication we are required to perform a network between them so the effectiveness of the data communication depends on three fundamental characteristics. Delivery, the system must deliver the data to the correct destination. Accuracy, the system must deliver the correct data. And lastly, timeline, the system must deliver the data in a timely manner. The data delivered late is actually useless. Now, let us study the different components of the data communication. A data communication system has five components, the sender, the receiver, the message, the transmission medium, and the protocol. The first one is the sender. The sender is the device that sends the data message. It can be a computer, a workstation, a telephone handset, video camera, and so on. The second one is the receiver. The receiver, on the other hand, is also the device that receives the message. It can be a computer, a workstation, telephone handset, television, and so on. The third one is your message. The message is the information or data to be communicated. Popular form of information include text, numbers, pictures, audio, and video. The fourth one is the transmission medium. The transmission medium is the physical path by which a message travels from the sender to the receiver. Some examples include twisted pair wire, coaxial cable, fiber optic cable, and radio wave. And the last one is the protocol. A protocol is a set of rules that governs the data communication. It represents an agreement between the communicating devices. Without a protocol, two devices may be connected but not communicating. Just as a person speaking French cannot be understood by a person who speaks only Japanese. Now we move on to the computer network. So what is a computer network? 
A computer network is formed by a set of communication devices, in this case we call them nodes, that are connected with the transmission medium. The node, for example, can be a computer, a tablet PC, your mobile phone, printer, router, switch, server and so on. The transmission, on the other hand, can be wired or wireless. For example, if it is wired, it can be a twisted pay cable, a coaxial cable, a fiber optic cable, or if it is wireless, it can be Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, satellite, and so on. Before discussing network, we actually need to define some network attributes. So what is the type of connection? The connection actually refers to the way the communication devices are attached to the network. And there are two types of connection or configuration, which are the first one is the point-to-point -point configuration, and the second one is the multi-point configuration. Now we look at the point-to-point -point configuration. A point-to-point -point connection provides a dedicated link between two devices. The entire capacity of the link is a reserve for transmission between those two devices. Most point-to-point -point configuration use an actual length of wire or cable to connect the two ends, but other options, we can use a microwave or satellite links are also possible. So when you change television channel by infrared remote control, you are actually establishing a point-to-point -point connection between the remote control and the television control system.